Hi guys, this is Sir Dan and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'll be discussing about the measures of dispersion. On my previous video I discussed about the measures of central tendency specifically about the mean, median, and mode. Now let us discuss what are the measures of dispersion. So the measures of dispersion are first we have the range we also have the mean absolute deviation or the average deviation then we also have the variance and we also have the standard deviation so as you can see we have the following formula yan yung mga gagamitin natin para ma-solve yung mga measures of dispersion na, na tinatawag so para mas maintindihan ninyo let's have the first uh, let's have this example. So the following data are the scores of 10 students in their math quiz. So kailangan natin mahanap yung range, mean absolute deviation, the variance, and the standard deviation. So para masolve natin yan, let's have this problem. So una, meron daw sampung sudyante na nag-exam sa math nila. Then they got a score um, 2, 10, 7, 8, 7. 5, 5, 9, 8, and 6. So, let's get first the range. So, how are we going to get the range? In getting the range, class, kailangan lang natin punin to. Formula na to, highest score. So, range is the highest score or HS minus the lowest score or LS. So, look at the scores that the students got in their math quiz. So, the highest score that is appearing here on this data is 10. So, meron tayong 10 minus the lowest score is 2. Okay, so 10 minus 2. So, range is equal to 10 minus 2 or equal to, siyempre, kakalgo pa natin yan. 10 minus 2. That is equal to 8. So, 8 is the range of our data. So, my pinakamadaling formula is the range because you just have to get the highest and the lowest and get the difference between the two. So, next, how are we going to get the mean absolute deviation? So, ito, medyo mahaba-haba to. So, ang gagawin lang natin, class, ay ganito. <coughs> So, gamitin ko muna ito. For the MAD, or AD, mean absolute deviation, ang kailangan nating gawin is gagawa tayo ng table para mas makita nyo yung, yung proseso. So, lagay tayo first column is X. X is the score. Okay? So, ilan ang score natin? We have 10 scores. So, i-list down lang natin. Yung mga scores natin. We have 2, we have 10. We don't need to arrange the scores from lowest to highest. Okay, so sulat lang natin. 2, 10, 7, 8, 7, 9, 8, 6. So yun yung mga scores natin sa given. Next, after this column plus, gagawa lang kayo ng isa pang column para naman sa x minus mean. Okay, so we have this next column, the x minus mean. Yung first x natin ay 2. So, lagyan natin 2 minus. Yung mean natin, since hindi pa natin nakukuha, we still have to get first the mean. So, the formula for the mean is summation of x so mean natin ay ito na discuss to sa isang video na in upload ko so summation of x over n so summation of x is you just have to add all the scores so add natin 2 plus 10 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 5 plus 9 plus 8 plus 6 so, total na din, that is equal to 67. Pero hindi pa yung tapos, divided by n. Yung n natin ay 
yung kung ilan kung ilan yung score. So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. So we have 10. So the mean is equal to 67 divided by 10. So divide lang natin ito kay 10, 67 na nakuha. That is equal to 6.7. So this is the mean. Yan yung i-minus natin sa bawat score. So meron tayong 6.7. Then, ito naman, 10. The second score, x pa rin yan. Ito yung mga x. Then, minus, the mean is 6.7. Tuloy-tuloy lang yan. Gawin ko muna ito. Um, then, 5 minus 6.7. Then lastly, 6 minus 6.7. Okay, yung x na yung nagbabago, yung mean, isa lang naman yung mean natin. Okay? For every score, isa lang naman ang mean natin. So, kunin lang natin yung value ng bawat isang yan. So, to get the value, just have to get the difference of every score. So, 2 minus 6.7, you've got an answer of or you will get an answer of negative 4.7 next is 10 minus 6.7 that is equal to 3.3 <clears throat> okay tuloy lang natin yan 7 minus 6.7 0.3 8 minus 6.7 that is equal to 1.3 <clears throat> 7 minus 6.7 that is equal to 0 0.3 then ito um, 5 minus 6.7 that is equal to negative 1.7 ito naman parehas lang sila so parehas lang yung sagot dyan <clears throat> then 9 minus 6.7 that is equal to 2.3 then 8 minus 6.7 that is equal to 1.3 again then yung 6 um, 6 minus 6.7 that is equal to negative 0 0.7 then after getting the values of x minus mean ang sunod natin gagawin for this step is kukunin natin yung next column for the next column class Ang sulit mong gagawin is to get the absolute value of x minus mean. So, itong x minus mean, hindi mo na kailangan compute niya kasi ito na yan, no? So, ang kailangan mo lang gawin, itong mga to, ay kukunin mo lang yung absolute value. Kapag mayroon kayo nakitang ganito, dalawang bakod, ibig sabihin niya na yung absolute value, gagawin mo lang silang positive lahat. Okay, kung mayroon kayo nakita mga negative numbers dito, gawin nung positive to get the absolute value of x minus mean. So, una, ito yung naka-negative. So, the absolute value is 4.7. 4 ito, positive naman na. Copyin mo lang yan. Ito naman, copyin lang. Positive. Lahat ng positive, copyin lang natin. Copy. Copy. Ito yung negative, gawin nung positive. Ito yung ganun din. Gawin nung positive yan. Copy, 2.3. 1.3. Then, 0 0.7. So, after mo makuha yung class, ang gagawin mo ay ganito. Kunin mo na yung formula ng mean absolute deviation or the AD uh, uh, average deviation. So, the formula is AD is equal to summation. Pag sinabing summation, total. So, total ng X minus mean absolute value divided by yung N yung number of score. So, solution. Um, summation na ito, i-add natin to Hindi ito ha. Ito. Kasi absolute value. So, add natin yan. 4.7 plus 3.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 1.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 1.7 plus 1.7 again plus 2.3 plus 1.3 plus 0 0.7 then you get you'll get a sum of 
0.6 divided by yung n natin kung ilan ulit yung score so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 yan yung n so divided by 10 that is equal to so 17.6 divided by 10 that is equal to 1.76 yan yung absolute deviation or average deviation so, yan yung proseso natin para makuha yung eto, mean absolute deviation. So, ngayon, ang sunod natin gagawin is to get now the variance. So, let's get the variance. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay ganito. So, alisin ko muna ito. So, ngayon, itutuloy ko lang ito class. To get the variance, we have the formula um, summation of x minus mean squared. Kanina x minus mean lang. Pero ngayon, wala na yung absolute, wala na yung absolute value. Parenthesis na siya ngayon, then raised to 2. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin ituloy ito. Ito. Kailangan pa rin kasi natin yung x minus mean. Eh, meron tayong x minus mean. Tanggalin na natin yung absolute value. So, takpan natin yan. Yan yung x minus min. Ang gagawin mo na lang ngayon, alalagay mo ng squared. So, lagay tayo x minus min squared. So, anong gagawin natin ngayon? Lahat ng nakuha natin value dito ay i-raise mo sa 2. Example, itong negative 4.7, lagay mo lang. Um, negative 4.7. Then, lagay mo raise to 2. You can use this. Ito yung x squared sa calculator. Pindutin mo lang yan. That is equal to um, wait lang, negative lagay yung, Pag may negative, lagay yung ng parenthesis sa calculator na to So, negative 4.7 Parenthesis uh, Raise to 2 That is equal to positive 22.09 Take note, since naka-square yan, dapat lahat na magiging sagot dito ay positive. Kasi kung may negative man dyan, magiging negative times negative, positive pa rin. So since may square, huwag nyong hayaang magkaroon ng negative dito. Okay, basta erase to 2 nyo, then ilagay nyo dapat laging positive man sagot. So ito naman, 3.3, raise to 2, that is equal to 10.89. Next, ito na tayo. 0 0.3 raised to 2 0 0.09 Next is 1.3 uh, raised to 2 1.3 raised to 2 is equal to 1.69 Done 0 0.3, ito yun, no? parehas na magiging sagot dito So that is 0 0.09 din Okay um, Negative 1.7, pag may negative, put parenthesis first. Negative 1.7, then close parenthesis, then raise to 2. That is equal to 2.89. Kasi nga magiging positive pa rin nga. So, ito parehas lang, 2.89. 2.3, raise to 2, that is equal to 5.29. Next is 1.3. So, kaparehas yan nito. So, copy na yung sagot, 1.69. Then, negative 0 0.7 raised to 2. That is equal to 0 0.49. After getting all the squares of x minus mean, you have to get the sum of this. Okay, get the sum of this. So, lagay natin. So, isa-isa natin i-add yan. 22.09 plus 10.89 plus 0 0.09 plus 1.69 plus 0 0.09 plus 2.89 plus 2.89 again plus 5.29 plus 1.69 then lastly plus 0 0.49 then equal sign you'll get an answer of 48 point 1 so yung total nito lagay natin summation 
total eh. Kaya summation na ito. X minus mean then squared. Okay, nilagay lang natin to. So, ang total niya ay equal sa 48.1. Is this the final answer for the variance? Not yet. Kasi meron tayong formula. So, gawin natin yung formula plus na binigay. So, sabi dito, summation of x minus mean squared. Ito na yun, 48.1. So, the variance is equal to 48.1. Copy natin taas. Yan na yun. Then, divided by yung n minus 1. Since yung n natin ay 10 kanina, so lalagay natin 10, pero may minus 1. Equals, copy natin taas, 0.1. 10 minus 1, we all know that the answer is 9. So divide natin yung dalawa, 48.1 divided by 9. So the answer is 5.34. 5.34. Double check natin. S squared. So, this is now the variance. So, the variance of the given data is 5.34. Ngayon, let's have this. The standard deviation. So, as you can see here, the standard deviation has a formula of square root of summation of x minus mean squared over n minus 1. Kung papansin niyo yung variance, sobrang pareha sila nito. Pero ito ay merong square root, ito ay wala. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung variance mo, ilalagay mo lang sa loob ng square root. So to get the standard deviation, ang kailangan mo lang gawin is, This is a symbol, S equals, square root mo lang yung variance. Itong formula na to is the variance formula. E since nakuha mo na yung variance mo, so lagay mo lang sa loob ng square root symbol yung 5.34. Because standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So lagay mo lang dito, square root of 5.34. So the answer is 2.31. So we already have the standard deviation. So technique dito, kailangan mo lang makuha yung mean absolute deviation gamit tong table na to. And then itutuloy mo lang yung table gamit ang pagkuha ng raised to 2. Then, pag nakuha mo na yun, makuha mo na rin yung variance and the standard deviation. So, that's it for this video. So, I hope that you've learned something from this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to keep you more updated on my next video. Thank you.